So, hello guys. This here is a beautiful variegated Opuntia. Uh, I'm hesitant to say it's Coconilfera because the Coconilfera is different than this. So it's just some random Opuntia species. Not 100% sure which one. But she is variegated and very, very beautiful. Look at that. And of course she's spineless. No spines on her. And I don't even think she has any glockets, you know, those little tiny, irritating, tiny, tiny spines that some of the spineless, you know, uh, puntias have. She's very smooth. But this, of course, is just as edible. All the puntias, by the way, in case you're wondering, all cactus, if you know you have an actual cactus, all cactus are edible. Now, I'm not, I'm not talking about all succulents, I'm talking about all cactus. If you have a cactus, all pad cactus, which are all opuntias, are edible. Even the super spiny devil monster, you know, hellacious ones with spines that'll, you know, drive you insane. They're all edible. If you have a pad cactus and you know it's an actual opuntia, all 100% edible. And if you have a calmer type cactus, and again, you actually 100% sure that is a true calmer type cactus, the fruit or sometimes even the actual columns are edible. And just remember that, it's good to know. All pad cactus are 100% edible, fruits and the pads. And if you got a calmer cactus, you know, either the fruit are edible or sometimes even the columns are edible on them. Just a good thing to know, guys. Just make sure you know what you have. Remember, cactus do not have leaves whatsoever. But this is actually my only, gosh, that is gorgeous here in the sunlight. Look at that. This is my only very good Opuntia that managed to survive Hurricane Milton. I mean, they all survived. They're just on the ground. <laughs> so there's not standing up stately and gorgeous like this. But the ones on the ground were in mud and blown over. And unfortunately rotted really bad so I and I plant these all over the property they're edible the goats love eating them the pigs love eating them the cows love eating them and the fruits are amazing they're like little raspberry flavored cactus fruits you know really delicious and look at the gosh I just can't get over how gorgeous that looks but this is my only remaining standing variegated opuntia so uh if you would like to get a pad of this guys i would really like to spread it around just in case i end up losing it and then if i ever need some propagation material you guys are just gonna have to share or i'll buy some from you but if you would like to grow some of this guys absolutely stunning ornamental delicious all you do is you take a nice tender new pad these don't have any new growth on them right now. It's towards the end of the year. But when the pads are coming up nice, when they still have the little, little, uh, I don't know what you call them, little green sprouts on each node there, and you break them off, you just rub it off, wash it off. And all you do is put it in a pan with a bit of oil or butter, lard, and you just fry it, cover it in salt or grill it. Mwah, absolutely delicious, guys. You slice them up, you put them on your tacos or in your burritos, or make a nice sauce, mole, put it over rice. So much you can do with these apuntias, and they're absolutely delicious, packed with vitamins and minerals. And again, they are just gorgeous. So, uh, yeah, you can pickle it too. I'm not a big fan of the pickled, but I like to grill them and just stir fry it up. I eat this probably at least two or three times a week. It's really good with eggs. Make some fried eggs and fried a puntia, mm, cactus pad, whatever you want to call it. Nepales, absolutely delicious. But uh, yes, guys, you know, support me. Support yourself by growing food. And these can grow in a pot. You can stick these in a pot and they can grow on your patio, in your kitchen, anywhere. The more light, the more water, the more good soil they have, the faster they grow. They are cold tolerant down into the teens easily. So you can stick them outside quite a few places, stick them in a pot, 
and the variegated nothing wrong with that just as edible as the straight green ones except they are beyond gorgeous look at that just the patterns on those just absolutely stunning and then during the spring when they're flowering they get loaded absolutely covered in just tons of flowers and these guys are pretty quick growing People don't think cactus grow fast, but these opuntias grow extremely fast. And the more you harvest them to eat, the more pod, uh, not pods, pads you'll get to eat off of them. So, really cool. I'm going to leave you guys right there. This video is long enough. Check out uh, the description, get my info, and just buy a single pad, guys. If you uh, would do that for me, support me in my crazy plant endeavors, and hopefully imparting some knowledge to you guys and uh then cover yourself too have something amazing to eat and to feed your family and something that's incredibly easy to grow because everybody should be able to grow a cactus now right <laughs> just just take that pad right there get some good soil and stick it in a pot that, that's all you got to do or if you want it in the ground stick it in the ground and once they're established they can take flooding if you've got some flooding issues. They can take a little bit of flooding once they're established, especially this uh, species of Opuntia. They're more of a, a tropical type. They're not as desert adapted as other Opuntia species. So they can take the wet, they can take the cold. They just can't take a hurricane, guys. Hurricanes tend to blow them over, unfortunately. And then you lose tons of beautiful plants and then got to propagate them i'm about to cut as many pads off of this as i can and start them in pots so next year because our ground is still really wet from hurricane milton and then next year i gotta restart all over again and get my crop of opuntias going but don't miss out guys get a pad or two from me and uh love you Thank you for watching, thank you for supporting. Grow food and grow Opuntia cactus. Super delicious, nutritious, and they're so versatile. You can do so much with these. You really can. And if you get yourself a variegated one like this, just absolutely stunning, guys. Just stunning, look at that. You can't beat the looks. Just gorgeous, and I've grown this 20 years easily I've had this cactus grown and of course it's just a clone of itself over those years I originally got a little tiny tiny piece from a <laughs> from a garden somewhere <laughs> I won't, won't say where <laughs> literally 20 something years ago and I've been growing this ever since crazy to think about it these years fly by, but gorgeous plants. But I gotta go back to repropagating things, guys. And you do the same. Ooh, eight minutes. A little longer than I thought. Love you.